Hey guys, welcome back. So with the new release of Deepin 15.11, I decided I'll make a top five things to do after the installation. And so we'll just get right into it. So the first thing is to upgrade the kernel. So if we run the command uname a, we can see the kernel version. Uh, and so it's pretty easy to update it. All you have to do is run the following command. Um, and I will make sure to leave all the commands and whatnot in the description so you could just copy and paste them uh, but run this command here and then after that's done run sudo dpkg-i asterisk dot deb and then just let that load real quick all right so once that's done you can restart your system and once you run the command again you can take a look that we have upgraded the kernel all right, so the second thing that you can do is install snap support and flatpak support. So these are quite easy. All you have to do is run sudo apt install snapd for snappack support. And then you can just easily install it. I already have it installed. And then you can do sudo apt install flatpak. And then you can install it as well. And so now you'll basically have Snappack and Flatpak support. All right, so the third thing I recommend doing is going to the settings. Now, I think that this is a good option that some people don't really take a look into, but that is if you go in the brightness and you take a look at the night shift option here, uh, I would suggest to enable it. This is a really good feature uh, for if you're using your screen at night and it's good because it protects your eyes and whatnot and so some people miss out on that option or you could also install redshift as well and to pair it up with that another thing that i would recommend is going to the sound effects and people used to have an issue with these sound effects so some sound effects might be annoying so here you can take a look at all the sound effects that are available and you can choose which ones uh, might be annoying or might bother you too much or if you don't like the sound effects at all you could just turn them off um, altogether completely all right so now for the fourth thing I would recommend going back to the terminal and running sudo apt install TLP now this is especially helpful if you're on a laptop if you want to save some power uh, you can easily just install TLP on your system and you're good to go and now for the final thing, I would recommend going to the App Store. And especially if you're a fan of this dock mode right here. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm actually missing the system tray icon. That's because I already have this extension installed. But essentially, it's the top bar extension. It might be uh, right on the home page. If not, you could just easily search for it right here. Just type in top bar and you can take a look at it right here. And so you could just update it or install it. And then once you have it on your system, it's really easy. You could just type in top bar. And there you go. You have kind of like a panel or taskbar at the top. Now, there is a bit of a glitch here. I'm not sure if it's because I'm on a virtual machine or not. I'm assuming this little glitch here does not appear on an actual hardware, but yeah. So when you have your uh, applications in full screen, the panel on the top becomes black. And then when you minimize it, it becomes transparent. And so you have plenty of options here. You have your time, battery if you're on a laptop, your sound, even your notifications here. And on top of that, you can power off the system and you even have your settings here, which you can choose to to disable the dock tray from here if you think that the um, system tray icons are redundant and so now if you have the system tray setting enabled uh, let's open up the music player for example you can take a look that the uh, system tray icons now appear on the top bar and that's basically it so these are the top five things to do once you install Deepin 15.11. Of course, if you're using NVIDIA or whatever, you know, you should update your uh, graphics drivers. I'm not quite familiar how much support Deepin has for those, but uh, yeah. 
So that that's why I didn't add it in the top five list. But of course, if you do have that, you should definitely uh, get that solved. So yeah, that's basically it. Hope this was helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.